Hey everybody, welcome to episode 11? Or yep. 12? No, this 11. is 11. Yep. 11 of TLSP Plays Final Fantasy 16. It's me, Piro, here with Poster Ghost and Slam Zone. We just Dude. got past Garuda, and he's real sad because he realized he killed his brother. You saw last episode. He have just realized he's Ifrit. Yep, he is the Ifrit. He's a fireball. I find a better price than that. Yeah, and then what happened? Sid was like, "Yeah, you know, shit happens, bro." Yeah, and you were like, "Nah, you. nah." Well, let's see if we can make use of you. Oh, wait, you're me. naked. That's right. You're chained up naked. Look what the curl Yeah, that's all. as it's you do. Star, yeah? As is tradition. So what are you doing here? Just talking to this head of Chromia. the deal. No, she's a she's the merchant. Oh. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You gotta yeah, look, look at everything real quick. It says bastard. You can't, you can't say bastard. You can't say bomb. It, 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 it's pronounced bast turd, like Chris. Like like it's poop. It's about Basti poop. It's bastier. Oh, oh I, it's like <laughs> yeah. a fish poop. Okay. Bastier. Yeah. Finished, I. Why don't we two times through your menu and God? Mm -hmm. We can. Mm -hmm. Double speed it. Do you Hit it, son, just to fucking get to the battles. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like it's, that's what we've become as a channel. Like, God, we, I, we finished our first video. The quality's just gonna drop on everything. We did it. We're just double timing it. Yeah, and just, you know what? We'll skip the boring shit. That's the whole video. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just not have a channel. It's just like. <laughs> You're like, I think you're, I think you're taking it too far. Uh, yeah, you're going a little too far with that concept, buddy. No, no, no. I'm starting to like this idea. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm doing it. If people like it, that's good. If they don't like the direction we're going, fuck them. I, got, I gotta make a storm cry. You know what? Actually, let's take it a step further. Like, you know what? Let's just stop hanging out. I don't even want to, you know. <laughs> All right, Kirk. Yeah. Oh, shit. 15 years of friendship or whatever, you know? None. Fuck whatever. It. I don't give a shit. I don't even care anymore. I don't want to talk. You guys were family to me, but you know what? Fuck Shit it. on your graves. Yeah. Shit on your fucking graves. I'm, I'm, I'm with the House of Toretto now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been uh, inducted. He's been deducted. About my real family. Yeah. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You know what? And we fly a different like kind it. of flag, all right? It's a it's a oh, red flag. Oh, oh wow. Wow. And it says, make America a lot of those, huh? <laughs> gay Fancy again, missing. all right? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. We're going to make <laughs> hey, America me. so gay. Good for you, dude. <laughs> you, do, you, you, do, you do what you love, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's good, dude. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Chris is like one hole at a time. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you worry. trouble for you. Got you on my list. So you, <laughs> I roll the D. Uh, 150 million, Nick. Could be you next. I have everybody's oh, wow. name on this list. Like the robot devil episode of Futurama. He's yeah. like, I put it on there just to be fair. I didn't think it actually. Yeah. Oh, we get to finally talk to Jill. No. Uh -oh. That's your waifu. I don't like oh, it. No. You kinda... oh no! Oh <laughs> no! I don't like it. I don't Why like she still. Oh no! Just waiting for it to happen. Why is this waiting for the jokes? Waiting for the ridicule? <laughs> no, I'm like in my mind, About like what? this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming. It's all right. We're good. We're good. I don't even know what we're talking about. That's good. That's good. You don't. It's good. You don't. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> How did that go over his head? Yeah, I think it did. I think we're good. I think we're safe. No, never. <laughs> He's like, you better put those put those storm shutters back down because I'm I'm still blowing through. Just gonna, just gonna uh, power up over here in the Caribbean for a little bit. Did you guys like my hurricane analogy? Was that? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Oh, was yeah. well, just because I know there's one cooking over there right now. Exactly. It was topical, <laughs> or you know, tropical. No, you know? no, it was a tropical. Yeah, Chris. I got Come there on. First. Come on. I got there first. No, I got there. You just talked over me. Come fucking. I was yeah, teeing myself the up. God. Will be God. <laughs> To it took it. too long. You gotta say it quickly. All right, all right. Next time I'll say it quickly. Yeah, you don't know how to make jokes. 
<laughs> you gotta say jokes really fast or they're not funny. Don't you know anything? <laughs> Man, that's a nice world map you got. <laughs> it looks like the Game of Thrones map a little bit. Fluffy mm. wiener, fluffy wiener, fluffy wiener. Better watch out, he's gonna turn you, Nick. If you don't, you gotta quit saying that. <laughs> yeah, you know my mission. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm MAGA. Make America gay again. You keep talking about floppy wieners. I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna come on you. <laughs> I will bring the cummus. <laughs> and that's the easiest way to turn you because, you know, when I come on you, it immediately makes you a gay man. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> it's like, um, what was that movie? Invasion of the Body Snatchers? That's what it's like. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Do you think there's like one person in a basement, like, who's like deep, deep on like, like Republican and like, like anti gay chat forums who actually thinks that's how, like, <laughs> like being gay works. Like <laughs> they just come on each other and make each other gay. That's how it works. Right. They're taking over the world. Think about it, Clive. The room is I don't know. Why don't you go ask one of your relatives? <laughs> Find out pretty quick. <laughs> Maybe that's how I have this like scenario in my brain. I've like that picked it up subconsciously thing. from like someone else be, in my <laughs> immediate family. Years. Like through us, oh, just osmosis into your brain. <laughs> exactly, it's in the ether somewhere. <laughs> They've said it out loud already no, once. No, but like, do you think they actually think this? You're like, uh, you just <laughs> said it. <laughs> like someone thought it. <laughs> do you actually think Sounds that? Like... No. <laughs> Are you sure? What the fuck was happening just now? <laughs> I don't know. We were too busy talking about the gay agenda, all right? <laughs> Where they're coming on each Agenda. Stop it! Stop saying my last name! What is wrong with you? It's a G, you? though. It's a G, though. Yeah, but I have to beep it every time. It makes me do extra this work. God. I'm the Why? Are you just trying to put the video out without editing it at all? Yeah, that's the new strategy. I just put it out, and I I, well, I have a notebook. You so can put I it out with your name? Nobody no. knows. What are there, like a thousand of you in the world? There's like 10 million gendrons. You know that. We're stupid, so we multiply a lot. <laughs> That's my favorite math fucking procedure, dude. What did you just say? <laughs> That's your favorite mathematics procedure. <laughs> oh, I thought you said meth procedure. <laughs> meth medics? Meth procedure. You're over there just multiplying and shit all the time. Hey, what you doing? Ah, oh, just doing some math. <laughs> just multiplying just one plus one. Multiplying some shit out, you know? Oh, dude, figured, you know, today we'd do some decimals, you know? That's also what I mean when I say I'm creative. I'm creating something, if you know what I'm saying. A new STD. <laughs> I mean, if you get an STD from concert, like, it's an STD from masturbation somehow, like... I don't know how he did it, but somehow he got an STD with never You're having like he, a partner. He ate a tuna sandwich and then didn't wash his hands. <laughs> the gas station tuna sandwich, and then he masturbated right after he ate it. And he got chlamydia. shit, what the fuck? You're like, you're like, it had nothing to do with the sandwich, it was fucking, you just didn't, you just touched the fucking door handle at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh my god. What's well, what, you know what, I really should stop licking door handles. I know you guys have, like, we even had that intervention, the licking door handles intervention, and you wrote that really really sweet note to me, Nick, but I gotta admit, I've been licking door handles again. Dude, you can't be licking door handles, man. That's not healthy. But, but I love it. I mean, it tastes, they taste he so loves good. The taste. I have to do it. Like, I just see it. It tastes like his childhood. Yeah. It's my only There's way. There's this show on TV called My Strange Addiction. I think we need to make the... You guys think we could make a fake Strange Addiction and get on that show? What would be the, what would be all right? Each of us has to come up with a unique strange addiction to get on the fake strange addiction show. What is your strange addiction? I already know what mine is. Mine is um, I drink 
I'm gonna drink a gallon of milk a day. It's like a strange addiction. <laughs> Just never stop drinking milk. Like until I vomit and then drink more milk. You drink the vomit milk? No, I don't re-drink the vomit milk. I think that's a little too much. But you know what, maybe I use the vomit milk as lube. You know, that takes it to the next level. Vomit milk lube, then I keep drinking milk while I'm lubing it. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. The, the Starbucks that I went to is the one from the scene of the crime. <laughs> what do you mean the scene of the crime? I went to your Starbucks. Uh, I, I worked at a lot of Starbucks over there. I worked at like six no, no, or but, seven. No, but no, but the you know which one I'm talking about. Oh, uh, the Riverbank one. No, the one where you fucking had the. the oh, ankle. where I fell. Oh, yeah, the one in Modesto there. <laughs> no, that was, you know what we used to call that one? It was Long John Starbucks because it used to be the Long John Silver. So that's Long John. Yeah, because they didn't change the outside at all. Yeah, exactly. Long John Bucks. Yeah, we got Long John Starbucks. That's what we called that one. Yo, Long John Bucks, the old man. All right, guys, you can't leave me hanging here. What's your strange addiction? How are you getting on strange addiction? <clears throat> How am I getting? Like on it has to be addiction? something we actually do because yours was something you actually do. I don't know. I actually haven't. I didn't buy milk on all three of my shopping trips this month, and I decided that. That if I'm gonna take anything away from my sobriety and my my diet from this month, it's gonna be that. I'm not gonna drink straight milk anymore. Only gay milk? <laughs> it's part of my agenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only gay hood milk? Exactly. You got it. You 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 see here now you're actually I don't like how much you're in on my agenda here. I might have to call up you know. You know, Q, he's in the LGBTQT, but you know, it's a secret plan. We're, we're circumventing and being very subversive in the Republican movement here. I don't know, Nick, what strange addiction? So what strange addiction do I have? Hmm, let me think here. It doesn't have to be a real one. <sighs> Mine was just like, I knew that. I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> I would have to I don't know, man, like... Uh, <laughs> what is a quirk? Why don't we just do it this way? What is the weird quirk that you have? Um, I'm trying to think of weird quirks that I have, and I feel like, you know, like, I like to smoke an obscene amount of marijuana. I mean, things like that. <laughs> but I My mean, strange addiction, you know. fat fucking clouds, <laughs> white wall. I don't know bombs, if that's what makes baby. me, like, you know... I think, um, what makes me weird? What makes me weird? Alright. I like to use baby wipes. I'm not gonna use toilet paper. <laughs> My strange addiction, uh, that, baby that wipes. That's expensive. You know, like. They're expensive? Nah, it's not bad. You go get the fucking pack from Walmart and fucking, you get in there. You can you get a fucking. Go you're good. You're like, one pack's like 300 wipes, right? You get like the six pack. Yeah, you That's can get. Them, like, yeah, they sell them in bulk, year, dude. Yeah, you get them in bulk and they're pretty cheap. <laughs> so I how do you know? I buy them too. I like it. I like a little wet. You know, you have a you have a tough. You know, little, little diarrhea. Little you know, I'm just saying. Like the only thing is, the the, the it sucks because it's like they're. You know, even the ones that say flushable, you're like these. Do not these flush them. Flushable. Yeah, do not. not even flushable. if it says flushable, do not flush them. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Then what do you do with it? You throw it in the trash can next to the toilet. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. And then, and then, just and, and then your bathroom just, just smells like shit, animal. like the entire no, time. It, it, it doesn't, though. And just fucking, you know, flush them. Um, what, so, Nick? the only thing, <laughs> the only yeah, thing like about it is, house. is like, when I you, yeah, when it doesn't you smell. get used to baby wipes, and you go somewhere that doesn't have them, and you gotta use the bathroom, and you're like, man, I'm gonna have a, I'm not gonna have a clean butthole. You know, like, I don't know, it's a weird thing. I feel like we need to, you just need to step up and buy my Poster Ghost branded bidet that spits water and looks like my face and winks Oh, the ones you. where you hook it up to the uh, the water spigot? Yeah, yeah, but I have oh, one that you can thing. buy on Amazon that looks like my face and it squirts at you from my mouth and then when you finish it winks at you and says, thank you for pooping. We already made this joke, right? I know, I was a callback. I was just seeing if anyone would get the okay, callback. I was just making yeah, sure. Yeah. I was like, I feel like that last part. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I feel like I heard the last part. Before. I was just feeling if I say it enough times, maybe we'll get one viewer who searches on Amazon for it. <laughs> like, he's like, really? I mean, I've ruined the facade now, but... 
All right, so now, now Zach, what about you? I know Zach's. Uh, you want me to say what I think yours is, Zach? Yours is my strange addiction gotcha games, and you've ruined your life because you can't stop pulling from gotcha games. Uh, no, it's not that bad. My strange addiction, Neopets. You can't stop buying Neopet stuff. I mean, I do have like a lot of keyboard stuff. That's like, <laughs> like, uh, like, keyboards, I, yeah. like, like I, I have three or four unbuilt keyboards on the floor. Like they're yeah. the boxes. Now it makes sense, a hundred percent. That that is a good one. And it's and it's like the same thing when we were talking about the bong. Yeah. Like where it was like, oh, I'm making money. What should I spend my money on? Mm. Keyboard stuff. You're right. I could have yeah. said bong collection, huh? Because yeah. I do yeah. have a hell of a bong. And I was like collecting pieces left and right for a while. You walk into your like, house, it's just like glass china cabinets filled when with I bongs. When I found a display wall wall. case, I was going so I went somewhere and they were like had a display case in the garage and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm like, no, nah, nah, can I have that? They're like, yeah, I'm like, oh my god, a bong display case now. You gotta put the... No, you, um, know, you, know, you know what Chris's is? It's jarring figures. <laughs> <laughs> my strange addiction jarring. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it could be. You guys don't know. You haven't seen my room. You don't know what's in my closet. You don't know the game. Cleaning gauge. out his closet. <laughs> the <gauge agenda. laughs> Just keep bringing him back. <laughs> oh, I feel like we haven't watched this episode at all. What did we miss, Zach? It's because it's because the dog's on the screen now. Yeah, that you ran around in some caves and shit, and you did some shit with some shit. He was fighting some stuff. Is that Sid? Oh, we're trying to find that guy. Oh. Gav. We're trying to find Gav. That's right. They all have gotta just, go like, save him. white dude names in this game. Clive. What's his name? Gab. 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 Like Gavin. He has a real name. They just call him Gab. Is his name? Uh, I can't remember Gal what it is. They said it like recently. <laughs> Gavintron. Galvatron. Get him, puppy. You're like Rhinoa from Final Fantasy VIII with a dog. I think the problem is that the Garuda was so epic that, you know, we got a, we got a big high to come down from now. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit, too, with that. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, it was also the, the, the part where we got to see Bahamut and Odin. Exactly. That there was, was crazy. so much. Yeah. yeah. I think, um... If there's any episodes that you think we could skip based on, like, not doing any story stuff, we could do that, too, Zach. We have plenty of content. I mean, I mean we'll, have to, we'll have to figure that out when it comes to it, because it's like some of the hunts... Oh, God! Like, obviously... Fucking the Dragoon guy again! Love the Dragoon. Freya. Oh, shit, and, Freya. Oh, and... And the Dragon? What the hell? Yeah! There he is. Don't let him escape. And, dudes! You're fucked, bro. It is is that oh shit! Here we go, Rama. Rama. Sid's here. Sid's Rama, right? That's what. That's what yeah, we've established. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He turned into Rama when he put you down. The situation. You're late. Get in trouble. What? Is this what it's gonna be like when I have to teleport to fucking Iron Spur? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, like, what's, really what's the in, situation? You're late. <laughs> He's really in trouble, I think, is, uh, is, uh, you know, old Sal and, and Ara there. I don't think they're having a very good time. What are you talking about? I think Sal's having a great time. <laughs> Man, that, that got really sticky. I mean... We haven't talked about it since it happened, Nick, but, like, if you really think about what Aura's been going through, it's pretty intense. Yeah, it's not good. It's yeah. not good, dude, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not good, and Juliana's the one doing it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Juliana's not helping. She's, like, no. making it so much worse. <laughs> we'll not say Juliana, we'll say Sal. Come on, we can't do yeah. that. we we got to disassociate our actions, ourselves from our characters. That's not The way fair. she metagamed the fucking dagger back, dude. <laughs> you can't... Oh, oh, she's just like, you gotta let it go, Juliana. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, alright, I'll let it go for 36 seconds. And you can't just call people out <laughs> like that. 
I feel like I'm gonna check my pockets right now. Why? <laughs> Just cuz. Feel ladder. I think I wonder what's going on, you know? <laughs> Just thought I checked. You're like, uh huh. You guys are talking about the hilt that he stole without her knowing, and then, like, she yeah. every four seconds was like, well, I'm gonna check for the, the hilt. You don't know. Well, I'm gonna check. Well, you don't know. <laughs> hey, you have to act like you wouldn't be suspicious. <laughs> Alright, but I'm suspicious, though. You're like. You're like, you don't have to meta it that much. <laughs> like, it's we're not tough. playing to that level. Well, you, like, you, That's tough. That's one of the hardest things about Dungeons & Dragons is, I think, disassociating yourself from your character. Especially when your experience is with video games where it's solely on connecting with the thing that you're interacting with. Like, I think having that disconnect between the game and the metagame is, is like, that's like advanced Dungeons & Dragons playing. Like, when you're making detrimental decisions because it's what your character would do, you know, quote-unquote, and I don't mean that in a way like, like, oh, I killed them because that's what my character would do, as an excuse. I mean, like, you know, doing stuff to advance your character plot line as opposed to, you know, leveling it up. You know, that's, like, a different layer of Dungeons and Dragons. I just gotta say, that was a pretty good finisher. I like it. I like it the combat now is fucking popped up, and I feel like... Yeah, chaining all the stuff. 10,000 damage! Got him with a dog! I feel like there's uh, just these instances in the in when we're playing D&D where it's just like... I could be upset about what's happening, but I'm gonna choose not to. Because, yeah. like, me being upset about it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it's not- it's wasted energy. It's like, and that's like, like when I was like, lost in the tent, I'm like, it's fine. Like... <laughs> I'll just interact with whatever's there. That's the whole point. It's wasted energy, right? To get angry about it because we're playing a game, ultimately, right? And what's the point of you having this sword? Like, what the hell? What is it going to change? <laughs> they just ran towards the cliff. They're going to fly. Staff. They're going to fucking push him off the edge. They're like, get him off, boy. Hey, you got blood on you. I like his, like, multi-tiered, like, mullet ponytails. Mullet tail? Yeah. Save him, Clive! Shit! Shit! Look at Gav with one hand. Gav! Not Gav! I mean, actually, Gav's a pretty... Well, now he's, he's, a, he's a pretty it. big reoccurring character. <laughs> I, di I didn't know he was going to reoccur. How did I know that? You ruined it. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, your dog yeah. just did a straight fucking back kick off that guy. Your dog's there easily the coolest. Dude, you haven't even seen <laughs> what the dog can do. Yeah, uh... uh. It's like, it's like if they gave you everything you wanted in Game of Thrones, because you wanted the wolves to have more of a role, so they're like, well, here. Here's the dog that does everything. Help me, Clive. We've got you. Save his He had to have a little flashback to give it tension, though. Look, the dog grabbed him by the... helped pull him up, too. Pulled him up by the fucking grips. I think that dog's a G. Have. Yeah, he's your boy. He does okay. all the things that you wouldn't want to do. <laughs> he cleans the port upon. <laughs> like go, uh, go out and find out information about this. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. Oh, Gav, up do it. <sighs> Are you just smoking? Smoke. Let's blow the smoke yeah, right in his face, Sid. He rolled a said. blunt. Look at it. That's well, that's fucking. A that's a blunt. Like mine. Can't help stick For sure. But if it wasn't for Chops you, it up with his sword. Sniffing deers would be <laughs> over. Thank you. He rolls them for Pretty sure. Yeah. Getting high. See, look how he holds, yeah, it. Just... He holds it in. Yeah, he don't hold fight. it. He's not smoking Found it like a cigarette. He's smoking that thing like a yeah. dub. That's a blunt. Hell yeah, he's getting fucking He's smoking a wreck. post fucking fight blunt. Fuck yeah. Getting all litty. Rosaria. Oh, we're going to Rosaria this, this mission? <laughs> to stop them. 
There's yeah, no we can't skip, skip the next episode. He's a dominant fire, all right. Man, his eyes are so beautiful. Yeah, I was just thinking that. He's like the best green that I could possibly yeah. find. There's a good chance. Gav or Clive? Gav. But we weren't alone, were we? Whoa. It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. Aye. Put more gravel. Was the fella. Was more gravel. He's smoking. He's got. <laughs> that's what his voice sounds like. But He's out there. Is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know he one wasted thing. like half of that I'll motherfucker. Find and find out. After all, you swore. Yeah, but it's like apocalypse weed, Chris. It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> you swore you'd avenge your. It hasn't been crossbred for like <laughs> maximum effect. I'm saying he went out. He went down like a bitch with that. So he couldn't even finish his blunt. He didn't even offer it to his friends. He didn't even be like, Yeah, dude, that's uh, what I was gonna say. I was I'm appalled that he didn't fucking hand it off, you know? He wasn't like anyone else wanna smoke this shit or is it just me? <laughs> and you know what else? His sword pommel looks like an Indian or not an Indian, a Chinese finger. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what they're called. Worse. No, that's what they call called. Worse. They're called no, Chinese finger traps. No, no, I don't think the Chinese part is you, a part you have to put in there. I think that's, I think that's just called. where you're from, Chris. No, I think that's what they're called. I don't think they're called that. Is that just one of those things where I'm like really old and it's like now it's something I heard because I grew up in Florida and it's yeah. the South, but it's not right no for me to be saying. This year. Like when you find out what Eeny Meeny Miney Mo is actually yeah, about. What's it about? Not. Yeah, Chris, stuff. tell us. They're called Chinese bum cuffs, Chris. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got finger trap, bro. <laughs> or, 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 well, it's not very inclusive, Chris. You can't use that word trap anymore. Well, you know what? We're we transgender. Put, we're putting oh, our yeah. dicks in each side are. anyway, so or it doesn't androgynous. matter. <laughs> Mine's too big for one of those. You get an extra big one. They sell them in a lot of different sizes. <laughs> How do you know? Because you I, yeah. Look at that chocobo. It's beautiful. His hair is just as blonde as this man. Must be stopped. Wait, is that your brother? That's uh Perhaps. Perhaps. It looks like him. But with the he had the white hair, but now he has the gold hair. He's like a super saiyan. No, he had gold hair before. He was super blonde. Oh you're right. That's you're why you guys right. yeah, yeah. He was blonde and you were the brunette. Yep, yep. That's Romeo and Juliet reference, right? Uh no, they don't fuck. <laughs> no, 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 the houses in Roman Julia is it one long one brunette, or is that Game of Thrones? I'm thinking. I don't know. No, that's Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Leo. The, the Lannisters. Lannisters. I knew it was with an L. Starks. Yeah, and then the Starks. Yeah, yeah. We need to go see our wife now, probably. We need to see her. His voice it's is only so been great. it's only been twelve episodes. Sid's voice is a beautiful oh, fucking voice, dude. Lucky. I like how we cannot get Jesus over Sid's Christ. voice. Oh, like, Jeff, <laughs> go and get those wounds, Sid. I mean, how much of it is yeah, jealousy that we aren't as rugged dude. and cool as Sid? Well, it's definitely yeah. a little bit jealous. I'm it's gonna a say big that. Pee -pee. I bet she's got a big old winger. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Ooh. Drops down to his knees. I, 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 and like, he doesn't know that it's big. Yeah. <laughs> he tucks it into his sock. He finds it a convenience in battle. <laughs> he's just like, you know, he's, just he's what like God gave me. That's what he says. He's like, you know, just working with God gave me. I was gonna say it counterbalances him. Wait, 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 did you see what happened? They were like, go talk to Jill. And I heard, isn't the Moogle funny? I gotta go talk to the Moogle. Moogles like, are cute. Turn. I love Moogles. <laughs> oh, it is freaking cute, though. I love it. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. Bestiary. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Moogles are so Just cute. Me. <laughs> Nectar the bold. Clive. Koopo. He says I said Koopo. I want to hug it. It looks so soft. <laughs> I want to. I don't know. Sproing its. I don't know how off. I feel about it. 
I kind of feel like it breaks the dimension, That's right? It's like all human stuff. It's kind of like medieval, and then you're like, oh yeah, it's right. It's an anime too, kind of. It's Final <laughs> Fantasy. It's literally Game Wait, of Thrones with Final Fantasy mashed into it. All right, now we can go talk to Joe. I talk to our friend Koopa. He's got to give you a letter, and you got to go give it to someone else. All right. What there up, she Hope? is. Oh, shit. He got so, a boner. Uh, uh, Do you remember who she is? <laughs> he like how he pulled out his sword. I thought for a second he was going to attack He's going to slice her down. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> this is a nice, that's like a nice little thing, though. Put the sword away, nice. like, so it's not showing up on his shoulder. Clive. Yeah, because then it would be stabbing into the bed and they'd have to explain it. Yeah. You're alive. Nice touch. That's a good touch right you there. You are alive. They love so each other. Cute. They're just happy the other one's alive. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Are your wounds yes. peeling? Taya told me what happened. I have peeled. My you pants have my been life. peeled. <laughs> I saved your life after I straight up, yeah, after I murdered you. <laughs> Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? <clears throat> Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fiend's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and... It's like a heavy metal changed. song. The end that never came. I like it. It all happened so fast. That's also we told that masturbating on antidepressants. Are mm. you talking about it? Latest crusade. <laughs> the end that? that never came. <laughs> I've never had that problem before. Never yeah, I've never had that problem, Chris. <laughs> to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. Ooh, Your yes. fighter will kill your people. And they call us dominant. Yeah, how dare they? Pee in your mouth. What? <laughs> she doesn't know. What happened to Clive? She has no idea. What happened to She doesn't know that he is in a weird, crazy things. <laughs> Subs and dominance and you know. Four and <laughs> It was me. Hiving. Hiving. <laughs> That's a throwback. I haven't thought about hiding in a long time. I know you. You would. Oh yeah, she's definitely into hiving. She's for sure in hiving. It's the truth. You know a hiver when you see one. I into him again. Yeah, you smell him when you see him. Yeah. He's in the Jenkins. On a fire. The one responsible. It's you. You're responsible. When I think back to that night. That night that I think about. The Sephiroth there. The hooded man. He, he spoke to me. There's always a hooded man. What did he say? Sixes. We have Pick up sticks. <laughs> What did he mean? Clive? Six. 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 I need to know <laughs> the Slipknot starts playing. And so yeah. you. You need to know for certain. And if six. what you told me six. is true, six. and you did what you said you did, hell and fire, then we will face it together. Jill, I. I just came. <laughs> I haven't been touched by a woman in a long time. 
Oh, been on shit. antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> I usually fall asleep, man, jerk. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Oh, she, We're gonna play she this new wants game the called... D. Look at this, yeah, I won. I immediately like her more than the other one. Mm. I'll see you soon then. I don't want the pure yeah. one. I want the one with experience, if you know what I'm saying. The dirty bitch whore one. Hell yeah, I want to spit on her fucking face. Slap her Jesus thighs. Christ. I thought I told God you to make damn. <laughs> I their put her in a mouth. full Nelson and smother her face in a pillow. I want to dunk her in the bathtub. <laughs> I put my foot on her face in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I was just like, she's trying to think the most degenerative oh, thing, dude. Oh, really? like, <laughs> I was hoping that See, Chris, this is why nobody wanted to sleep with you in Baldur's Gate. Oh, man. It's, the task is, it, yeah, is it the I full really Nelson really under the water really in the bathtub industry. thing? That's what got me, too. Yeah, you shouldn't have led with that line. Aww. Individuals you'll be seeking I'm an orc. That's what I, that's, I can only get off of it. It's in the form of wrestling. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bathroom. Makes sense. Yeah, but, yeah, but you don't have to dress up as the Hulkster. <laughs> All right, the boa feels really nice. All right, it just feels good on my skin. And you got the fake ripping the tail too. Yeah, ripping the shirt off is a part of the you know the pleasure performance. It's a part of the act. I think that um, we need to talk. That's uh, <laughs> it's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick just starts doing a fucking uh, macho man. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> the way that you are <laughs> engaging in coitus is not appropriate. <laughs> oh my thanks. These birds are. I must keep you. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Don't worry, Chris. When the dialogue starts happening, this pointless dialogue. Just click through it. He's just like, all right, all right thank God. Like, I only, it only matters when the full talking is happening now. Yeah, when nobody's moving and I can't click through it. Yeah, well that's smart. I'm glad you learned that. Mm -hmm. But there's all these side questies right now. Which are all just character building and like they just go. You. If you don't do a quest, you miss quests later. I Every ancillary character is pretty much voice acted though, huh? He's like, uh, I have a turd stain on my face as well. Not everyone. Mm. Later, not as much. <laughs> You're like, there's a big city, and there's like, there's just no way. You gotta move Actually, heaven and earth for this guy. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. That's like the name of a song. So that's what I do in our D and D campaign. <laughs> we're and we're grateful for it. Can I help, Kenneth Sim? Give him a hearty meal. I've got, you, I've got you some foods. Some vittles, bud. Chow down. Ah, Here, I have to run these that? errands to get stat points. Is he sick? What? Uh, yeah, I need experience. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine I've got like, a tattoo on my face, too. What about you? Yeah, I do. So there's a guy in the background. The door dasher gets to your uh, your thing, and you're like, yeah, you got your level up, right? Did you get an experience, enough experience from that one? Like, you, know, you didn't tip me. Yeah, you got experience, right? Experience points, right? No, actually, uh, this is such a low level mission. I was just doing it for the grind. <laughs> yeah, sorry, no uh, loot this time. You could try again sorry, next yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, sorry, this is no loot this time. Maybe you'll get a drop next time, but you know. Yeah, you got <laughs> this luck. drop already. It's unique. You can't pick it up. <laughs> I was going to give you that car you're driving, but you already got that skin. And someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep. You keep yourself. I up. help people sleep at night. I'm a fucking like mercenary guardsman, and I talk like this. Are you quick? <laughs> Are you so angry, Chris? I don't know. That's you know, like, it's really gut guttural. You know. Yeah, I, I took it from another level there. I just, you know, that's really feeling like the accent. Did. I feel like. I think you did, dude. I feel like someone who works a job like that is so just bad. angry. If I do say so myself. No, I can't believe is you would ever do that. Is it because you work a job where you should be angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm actually really calm. It, when I see a teacher yelling at kids, it kind of makes me wince one. a little bit because you don't have to yell at kids. You can talk to them. You can what, about when they st what, what about when he stomped so on your foot? When they stomped on my foot, I punched him right in his little fucking nose. <laughs> 
<laughs> made that little fuck fucker them, bleed. Fuck them kids. Yeah, fuck them kids. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, it was the only time I ever won a fist fight a kid. Yeah, dude. Dude, kids are easy to fight too. You just punch down. Like, it's way easier than punching in any other direction. Yeah. <laughs> you just jump into the air and do it. You can just throw, you can, it's a really cool because you can just do like karate shit because they don't know any better. They think you're really yeah. intimidating. Then you just yeah. hit them with the knee. Just wham, right in the knee. Wham, yeah, yeah. You roundhouse like four or five of them at a time. Exactly. It makes you feel like fucking Bruce Lee when you fight kids. And yeah. I tell you and what, you there's no like better that. job in the world because, you know, only my job can I physically fight a child and get away with it. I was going to say, when you connect uh, with five or six kids in a row with a, with a good spinning kick, dude, nothing better than that feel. Yeah, but then what if there's like a big fat one? I feel like that's not... That's a boss fight. Yeah. yeah that's a boss fight. Right, now I think this joke's going a little too far. All right. that's, when, that's when the first great teacher, she shows up, right? She I, liked shows up. This, I liked this bit. I liked this bit for a little bit, but then it got a little too far. <laughs> that's when the first great teacher shows up. Now you got a fist fight, Miss fucking Brenda. <laughs> Trying to stop you. Well, yeah, then it's yeah. about it. It's not even about Ms. right Brenda, wrong. It's just what about you don't really know is Miss Brenda's fucking got a black belt fucking from the local. <laughs> it's about the local from the Y. You know, like the women's uh, classes, like women's defense classes, right? She's fucking no joke, dude. She'll kick you right in the nuts. She keeps a brick in her purse. She got one of those Kubaton things, one of those spikes. <laughs> Well, Miss Brenda, you know, I got to teach her about respect, all right? She gets you down on the ground, pins you, sticks that coupon straight in your fucking pee hole. What if she, like, looks at me, <laughs> nods, that's and then she wants, says, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's when, that's when Chris <laughs> looks at her and goes, you fucked up, right? He gets his second wind, he gets a boner, smacks her with it. <laughs> And then the circle continues. And thank you for tuning in to episode 11 of uh, <laughs> Last Save Point, point well, Place. Thank you. Here's how we have your last save point. Bye. <laughs>